Good morning, good morning, good morning, people. It's Thursday. Um, this is only going to be a very short vlog um, for several reasons. Mainly uh, because I'm doing this vlog because I know Thomas's mum loves to see what he's been up to during the day. So I'm filming today. Um, but it's also to say thank you for all the messages from people who have just checked in to uh, make sure my absence is nothing serious and it's not it's just as you all know you know we've had a lot happening so we've had Brendan's birthday I am finding it quite difficult to accept the fact he's 18 it sounds really stupid but it's kind of been an emotional moment that took a while to hit me and I just need to process the fact that I've got an adult son it's it's very odd uh Ofsted as you know rang wanted to come and see me and that I've never been stressed over an Ofsted inspection but I think with everything else that's been going on that just completely was like the the straw that broke the camel's back if you like um and something had to give and so the vlog had to give um you know I've, half the kids here have had chicken pox um one was supposed to go for an operation we weren't sure if he was going to have an operation and nothing serious you know for hearing issues um but still um i didn't know if i was going to have any children here and uh, it was just it was just and then with lee not knowing what lee was having dealt you know we were dealing with the accident having not known whether or not he was going to be at work or not i you know it was too much sorry livy came to the door so i had to go answer that Look, we've got snow but it's not going to settle and it can't settle because I've got a very important course tomorrow that I need to go on. Um, so, yes, everything just got too much. Vlogging had to just be on a standby. You can tell, just look at the state of me. I haven't worn makeup all week. I've got spots come out and I look dreadful. Um, but, yeah, I'm just making sure uh, that we're just coping, really. <laughs> um, Lee went back to work for... A day and a couple of hours and something went pop in his ribs in his side and as I suspected I thought we we're gonna have to take him to the hospital and everything which is what I thought on Monday that we we're gonna end up having to take him back but it was for something else um, but he went he went to the doctor he managed to drive himself to the doctors and uh, they've given him a whole heap of new painkillers and it's basically kind of worked out that it's like an intercostal muscle damage thing so it's not a lot you can do really, just ice, heat, ice, heat, that kind of thing. It can be caused from car accidents, so there you go. Um, so yeah, we've just, we're just winging it this week, like we were last week. Um, just winging it. And yeah, I'm just, you know, being there for him really. And yeah, so next week there will be Ofsted at some point but I will be feeling better about it I feel like I can actually uh, give my what's the word I'm looking for I can show myself at my best because we will be a week further with Lee's healing and hopefully those with chicken pox well best come back so that's good um, the operation didn't happen so you know he's gonna be here next week and uh, yeah we'll just we're just winging it I'm just winging it. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. You don't want to listen to me. Whinge, moan and waffle. Um, but this will mainly be a vlog of what we get up to with the kids today. But thank you very much for all your concern and your messages. It's It's been really lovely. It's snowing. What are you getting? What, what did you get for the chickens? I'm making a chicken here. Oh, you're making pancakes with the eggs they've just given you? Are you making pancakes with the eggs they've just given you? Yeah, wow. Eggs, they've laid a giant egg. Oh, you joined the fences together. Well done. Out. It does stop the animals getting out, you're right. Keeps them safe. 
They're playing, are they? Yeah. That's good to see. <laughs> so we get wool from these sheep, look. And the animals put their eggs in here. Oh, the chicken's eggs have gone in there. Yeah. Sometimes chickens yeah. do lay eggs in funny places. Yeah. You've got a duck, good boy. What does a duck say? Quack, quack. That's right. Quack, quack, quack. Have you found an egg? Yes. That's the duck. That's those eggs. Yeah, the chicken's eggs. Ducks lay eggs too, but they're bigger. Have you ever tried a duck's egg, Thomas? Yeah. Have you tried a duck's egg? You have. They're very big duck oh, eggs. No, mine. You didn't like it. I'm not very keen on them. Oh, did it? What about an ostrich egg? They're huge. They're the size of like footballs. Because ostrich are huge birds. Wow, Liv, look how long you're making it. Do you want to come and sit on my lap, mister? There you go. That's really long. Did you make a big long sausage? That would be the longest wall ever. It could be like the Great Wall of China. Or Hadrian's Wall that goes across from Scotland and England. Wow, Liv. Do you want some more pieces? Yes. It's going to be the biggest wall ever. Yeah. Do you know what animal gives us milk? high five good job would you like maybe this cow might need to give us some more milk shall we milk it yeah. right there we are from the udders fresh milk from the cow are you going to squeeze the udders that's it make the milk come out thank you cow now you've got lovely lovely milk to make your pancakes did you want to hold the cow that's a that's a bull. He's a man cow. He's a bull. It's a bull. A bull. He doesn't make milk. No. No. Because he's a man cow. And man cows can't make milk. Thomas, sweetie, would you mind taking yeah. your feet off the farm? Yeah. We don't want to break the farm, do we? Good yeah. boy. Thank you. Yes, he's a boy cow. He has a willy. <coughs> Bless you. Oink. 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 A piggy. Is that what the pig says? So where, oink, did, where oink, does the piglet oink, get her milk? That's oink, right, Thomas. Oink. Oink, oink, oink. Oink. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> Would you like to feed your piglet? Your piglet wants some food. How does your piglet get food? Can you remember? It's a drink of milk. Drinking milk from the teats. That's right. Oh, the mummy. From the mummy pig. Oh, are they having cuddles? That's nice. Are they having cuddles, Thomas? Oh. They are so cute. They are so cute. Oh, that's nice cuddle. Have a nice. Do you need another tissue? Oh, yeah, I'll get you one. Okay. That's okay. It sticks back on. Is it raining? Or is it a sunny day? It's a sunny day. It's a morning. Yeah. Yeah. The sun is up. The wind is here. Quick, hide. Hide. I'll hide behind a tree. Has the rain gone away now? It has. I like how they hid. Oh, the sun is up. Uh, yeah. Can Thomas have his piglet back, please, Livy? Livy, can he have his piglet back, please? Daddy Thank you, sweetie. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy. That's your piggy, yeah. yeah. Oink, oink. What does a cow say?
Is there a tornado coming and blowing everything into the sky? No, it's not. Is it a tornado? Everything's gone in the sky. Oh, Brendan's balloon from his birthday. Who knows the numbers on there? Do you recognise the numbers? What numbers can you see up here? Do you know what this number is? Two. That's a one. Who knows what this one is that looks like a snowman? It does look like a suffer snake, you're right. But it's a number eight, but it's very much like an, a suffer snake. I can see why you'd say that because it's not actually connected. What word does this say? Can you remember? <gasps> Boom! Boom! You having some mixing, Ethan? Mixy, mixy! Are you taking your car for a walk? Yeah, I'm hungry. Well, we've had snacks, haven't we? We'll do some lunch in a bit. Thomas, let's see if you can find some of my numbers. Can you find a number one? Number one. Where do you think number one might be hiding? That's number four. Four on the door. Good boy. Where's number two? That's a number three. Where's number two? Good boy. One, two. What comes after two? Good boy. High five. Then number four on the door. That's it. Where's number five? It's hiding around here somewhere. There it is. What about number six? That's hiding somewhere too. I say six behind the sticks. That's it. What about number seven? There's a number seven hiding along here somewhere. That's number ten. Try this side over here. Look, keep going in your big circle. Number seven. That's it, Livy. Can you see it? Number seven. Right, number eight. <laughs> number eight looks like a snowman. Can you see a number eight that looks like a snowman? Where could it be? Try, that's a 10, isn't it? What one looks like a snowman? Number eight. Where is it? Can you show me? There it is. Right. Number nine is hiding really well. Number nine. I wonder where that one can be. No, that's number 10. We're not got to that one yet. What about over here, Thomas? Can you see a number anywhere that might be number nine? What about over there? Can you see any numbers over there? Number nine! You have got a shark. I think it's a dolphin actually, sweetie. Uh, what about number ten? Where's number ten? Can you remember? Yay! Right, high five, you found all my numbers. Good job! Good job! Yay! You want a high five too, do you? Yeah. Yeah. What one are you? Number eight. Looks like a snowman, doesn't it, Mr. Mr. Snowman, we'll call it. Number eight, the Mr. Snowman. It's a dolphin. You playing dinosaurs? Dinosaurs. Look, do some dinosaurs laid eggs, Thomas, like the uh, chickens we were talking about. Some dinosaurs laid eggs. What happened to your water fin? Where did it go? On the floor. Is there any left? Oh, a little tiny bit. That's all the snow that melted. It warmed up and then the snow turned to water. See, you pour it in. Help you, Libby. What do you say, sweetie? Wow. Well, that's a snippet of today. And uh, as predicted, 
the snow turned from slushy snow to no snow. Um, and we had a bit of sun, which was really nice. And we got to, as you saw, play out in the garden and just a bit wet, a bit cold, but it was fine. So this will probably be the only vlog you get for a few days. I'm in training tomorrow, a bit of a busy weekend. It's Lee's mum's birthday, various other things happening, haircuts, all that kind of stuff, which is good because I need to do something with this. I'm sorry about the state of me. I've had a very croaky voice all week as well. So I've come down with another cold. It's just a lot going on and a lot of stuff making me feel a bit rubbish. So, um, yeah, sorry, you've got to look at this, but everyone else has had to look at it this week, so it is what it is. But Lee's looking a lot less bruised. Um, literally, today we noticed his black eyes virtually gone and his really bad bruising that was on his elbow is again, like really going down. So yeah, and he's a bit more mobile after that thing going pop. So he's he's doing well, he's doing well. I'm glad he's had the rest of the week off though because he was pushing to go back to work. Right, I'm heading for the bath. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a few days.